What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have something I am excited to share with you all. These are the Arclight Smart LED Bicycle Pedals by a company called Redshift. Typically Redshift is a company that makes various bike parts from cranks to regular pedals, suspension seat posts, but this is the first time they stepped out of their normal offerings and brought something new to the market. What these are are basically standard bicycle pedals except they include smart removable LED modules. In my opinion, if you have an e-bike, these are a must buy. Not only do they look really cool, but they also increase your visibility and safety, which as bikers, we know we all need. There's so many morons on the road that should not be there. We've all had our close encounters and these are really gonna help you go that extra mile to avoid these morons from accidentally hitting you. Rather than go over the basic breakdown of what these offer and feature, let me go ahead and get these unboxed so I can show you a visual demonstration of what these are. All right, so opening up the box, you got your right pedal, your left pedal, and then you have a really cool charging dock, which I'll go over in a second. So at first glance, they look like regular pedals, except you have these two LED modules. You've got one in the back, one in the front. Turning them on, the front one is always gonna be white. The back one is always gonna be red. And no matter how you have this pedal, it has smart technology to detect what's in the front, what's in the back, and it'll automatically switch. So you see right now it has white and red. Flip it over, automatically switches. You could just switch however you want. It's always gonna put the white in the front, the red in the back. So not only do these feature a red light that lights up in the back and the front, you also have side lights. So with this pedal, you're getting a full 360 illumination, which is really going to increase your visibility to other cars. On their website, they say studies show that these increase your visibility by 57% compared to a normal front and back light, which makes sense because typically you'll have your light in the front, you have your light in the back, your whole side area is left unlit. Not only that, but these are on your pedals. So instead of being a static light, as you're pedaling, this light is doing this. So you're getting a full motion of lights, a large area being lit compared to just one light passing by. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this video outside and get these installed on my bike. And then we'll go over a little more features of what they offer. To get these installed, you need a 15 millimeter wrench. I don't have a bike wrench, so I'll, I'm gonna be using a standard wrench, hopefully that fits. If not, you can also use a six millimeter hex wrench to take it out from the bottom side here. So let me go ahead and uh, take my original pedals off and get these installed and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So as I mentioned earlier, the pedals are labeled left and right so you know which way they go. But in case you lose those stickers and get them mixed up, easy way to know which is which is when you have them on the right side, the Redshift logo would always read normally as you would read it. But if you had them mixed up and you had the left on the right side, the wrong side for example, the word would be upside down. So if your word is upside down, you have it on the wrong side, Go ahead and make sure they look like that. That's also because these have sensors in them. So if you were to have this pedal on the wrong side, you're gonna end up with the red in the front and the white in the back. All right, real quick before I get these installed, when you put them in the hole here, make sure this spins freely and goes in easily. If it doesn't, take it back out and reseat it because you might have it cross-threaded. But if it's in right, it'll go in easily. Another thing is make sure you put some grease on these threads because if you don't do that over time, this will seize up and become very difficult to remove. So before you put this, put some grease on here to keep that loose. All right, so about five minutes later and I got both pedals removed and new ones installed. Very simple. If you can handle a screwdriver, you can install these two. There's really nothing to it. If you can't, just go to a bike shop. I'm sure they'll do it in two or three minutes and probably won't even charge you. As you can see, bear in the back, white in the front. Flip it, no matter how it lands, it's always gonna switch to the right orientation. Another cool thing about these pedals is they automatically turn on and off. So as you're riding, they'll stay on, but if you get off the bike within 30 seconds, they'll automatically shut off. So there you have it, 30 seconds later, they shut off. Now, when you wanna get back on your bike, simply move it, automatically it'll turn back on for you. After 150 seconds of no movement detected, they'll go into sleep mode and you have to do a little bit stronger of a movement, probably a harder rotation to get them back on. And then after 24 hours of no detection, they'll power off completely. So then to turn it back on, you have to use these two buttons here. So really once you have them on the bike, you really don't have to worry about them. Just click them on when you go for a ride. 
when you get home, no extra thought, they'll turn off on their own. So that's a really nice thing to have. Last but not least, these modules are also waterproof. So you ride them through the snow, the rain, mud, it doesn't matter. They're still gonna stay on. We'll go ahead and dip them in water. As you see, click them back in. Good to go. Beyond the pedals, another cool thing they made is what they have here, it's called the multi-mount. So instead of having the lights only in your pedals, you can also use them wherever you see fit. So the thing just clips in like that and they include a ring so you can mount it on the bike or if you want it somewhere permanent, you can also put it with a zip tie. And they also include a spacer in case it needs mounted somewhere and needs little space to make clearance. So with this, you could clip it on the back, have it as a rear tail light, flip it around, put it in the front, have it as white mold. So even on this mold, if you wanted to have it on the back, you don't have to push the button. You can just rotate it and it'll go red, rotate it here, it'll go white. You can also remove the magnet in here that activates that feature. And if you remove that, you'll be able to click it and put it in the right color that you want. So beyond that, you could also use it as a flashlight. I mean, you could clip it on your, your belt, your book bag, your back of your child, your dog's collar, wherever you want to use it, you can use it pretty much anywhere. If you wanted to get crazy, they sell these mounts here as well. So you could buy four of those and then you'll have four or five light modules that you could pretty much use anywhere beyond just your bike. All right, well, that about covers everything. In the next weeks and months, I'm gonna go ahead and test these out see how they hold up, if they have any issues or whatnot. I'll make a follow-up video soon and let you know my user experience with them. But off the bat, I already know these are gonna track a lot of attention. So they're gonna take these out on the bike path. Most likely people are gonna be coming up to you, asking questions, what are they, where'd you get it from, etc. So if you get these, be prepared for that aspect. Well, that about wraps up this video. If you guys have any questions at all, as usual, leave me a comment, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.